This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Corbin Ruswin Challenge Lock pinned up by Supa Lama. You can see the bidding on the key here is, is pretty extreme, should give us quite a bit of trouble. And looking at the top of this lock, we can see that he has definitely put some threads in there. So all in all, I am looking forward to a pretty challenging lock. I got this about a week ago and picked it when it first came in and it gave me a little bit of trouble back then but I am back to making videos again, so hopefully I will be able to get into it. Top of the keyway tension with a 40 thousandths pry bar and a standard hook in 25 thousandths. At least we'll start out with that. That bidding looked pretty bad, so we might need more than this. Okay, click out of two, three's loose, four's loose, five's loose, Click out of six, another click out of six. Okay, back to one. One's loose. Nothing on two. Three. Okay, got to click out of three. That's it there for now. Nothing on four. Click out of five. Nothing on six. Back to one two, three, four, five, six, I think. I'm not sure what's, uh, seem to have run into a snag pretty early on. Okay, there's click out of two. Okay, three's giving me some feedback. Got to click there. Some more from three. I think that's it from three. Nothing on four. Nothing on five. Little counter rotation on six. I felt something there at least. And six doesn't seem to want to give me anything. Up oh, there we go. Got something out of it. Back to one. Got a click. A little more out of one. I think that's all we're getting out of one. Nothing on two. Click out of three. I think that's it on three. Nothing on four. Click out of five. Click out of six. Nothing on one. Click out of two. Nothing on three. Click out of four, five, and six. We're in a nice and we just opened up on number two. Okay, as you can see, a pretty tricky lock. Definitely required quite a th few times through the pin stack, but we were able to get it open. Okay, let's, uh, I do have a key so I can relock this. Let's take this lock apart and see what sort of nastiness is inside. Okay, we have two Phillips screws on the back. Okay, now let's get the key and a follower. That's a large core lock, so we'll need to use one of these larger followers. Okay. I see lots of threading in the core here. Let's dump all these key pins out. One, two, three, four, five, six. All standard pins. 
However, the core is threaded in every single chamber. Okay, number one appears to be a, a pin in pin with a few little independent rings in there. And looks like a stock Corbin spring. And we have another pin in pin chamber. And it looks like a different kind of spring. So he's a little shy coming out. Let me get, I have actually a little tool that I use for removing springs when they're a little shy. If you don't have something like this, it's worth making. All it is is a tiny bit of, of wire with a hook at the end. More than off, more than, uh, more than you'd like to think, springs give you a lot of trouble coming out of locks. And a little hook like this can be really helpful. There we go. Okay, pin three. Another pin in pin with lots and lots of little rings on it. Okay, number four is a, well, I'm not even sure what to call that, a spool of some kind, hybrid with a T-pin, and it's definitely pretty gnarly looking. Number five, another pin-in-pin pin with lots of little rings on it, and here's the spring for it. And number six, a pin in pin with a spool on the inside. Okay, wow, what a variety here. Absolutely incredible work on all of these pins. Before I show you the pins, let me give you a close up of the lock body. Okay, we can see threading in every single one of the chambers, which we definitely felt that the feedback that this lock was providing was, was really, really just crunchy for lack of a better term. Okay, let's get a close up of the pins and then we'll look at the core. Okay, all the key pins are standard but the real show here is the driver pins. Every one except for number four are pin in pin and they have, let's see, number one, three, and five have lots of little independently moving rings on them. And then it looks like two and six only have one outer pin, but number two is a, I'm not sure what to call that, a serrated of some kind, maybe a double mushroom, and then six looks like a traditional spool with a hole drilled right down the center. Looks like we also have some varied spring tension here. And the bidding, of course, is absolutely incredible on that key. Moving over to the core, we can see every single one of these chambers was threaded. And now that I'm looking at slot six, I see there's a bit of a of a groove in it. I'm not sure what that's about. However, I don't think it really affected picking. Okay, this has been the Super Llama Corbin Russ Russwin Challenge Lock, and it is an incredible one. Absolutely great work on those pins. I love those little rings around the pin in pin chambers, the varied tension, and certainly all of that threading in there makes it for a very difficult lock. Thank you very much for sending this my way. To everyone else, if you have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.